All right, kid, let's, before we get started with the tutorial project, we're going to be doing more volcanoes. You just wait and see. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about presentations, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, so as I kind of said in my intro video, being a presenter, being a good presenter is a great life skill. Okay, and so I'm going to maybe link one or two YouTube videos that I've went out and found that are about good presenting. Okay, I was going to do some funny ones about some bad presentations, you know, links to some things, but I, I think, you know, these people, I think we all know what a bad presentation is. Okay, it's, it's those presentations that are just a wall of all these texts, you know, all these things, and then the person turns and they start, you know, reading it all, all to you. That's, that's not only a bad presentation, that's a bad presenter. Okay. Because, you know, if, if you just have all this text, then why don't you just, you know, give us the paper on it, right? Presentations are visual. So they should just, I, I've had a student give a presentation and have only one slide on the screen. And it was such a beautiful imagery of what that person was talking about that we all understood it. One image, one slide. And, and they, they spoke for probably 10 minutes, but it was so good. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about here is minimal, minimal text on the slides. That's, that's one of my first rules about it. Okay, I would say less than 10 words on a slide. You know, that's, that's just it. You can do that and you're going to be doing a great presentation. And of course, powerful imagery. You should not have images that are distracting behind you. You should have images that add to your message. Okay, so if I am trying to get people interested in giving to a charity and maybe we're going to help a person over in Nicaragua build a tortilla stand so they can make and sell tortillas and make money for their family. I would have powerful images behind me of that family, of tortillas, of those type of things so that people could see that and not be distracted by something weird going on like a zebra or a funny cat or whatever. You know, like really make sure your images add to your message and don't take away from your message, okay? 